Welcome to another video from East Beds Bushcraft, the home of Hashtag Survival. Greetings bushcrafters and survivalists, Buzz here with another video, uh, East Beds Bushcraft. Uh, I've got a big camp out coming out tomorrow, so I've got a lot of friends coming down to the village and we're having a bit of a Levu fest and there'll probably be other tents as well. Uh, and I have been requested to do a traditional Cajun crawfish broil. Okay, now obviously you know in the UK we have native crayfish which are pretty much wiped out because of the American signal crayfish which taste great okay the, you can catch them now what I will say if you're interested in doing crayfishing I was a licensed crayfish fisherman but I've noticed that the Environment Agency aren't giving out licenses at the moment uh, well at time of recording this video they're not whether they change their mind that would be nice but uh, what I'm saying is I'm on private land with its own private waterway with the permission of the landowner to do cray fishing. So let's take a look at what equipment. Now I've got two, three cray, cray nets here, two of these expandable type. So with the expandable type they are a traditional netting. I'll just pop that off there. There we go. Boom. And it expands out. So there you got your traditional crayfish net. Now in the UK you must be legal on these ports okay and the size of those if you do not, these have got metal wire rings in. If you think of the girth of a downpipe for uh, guttering, that is the size you want. So if you get a cray net and it hasn't got these rings in there, you want to cut yourself a ring of guttering, about say half an inch wide, and cable tie in there because it's to stop otters. Okay, if you've got otters in the waterway, it stops otters getting in there and then they get caught and they drown and that's not good at all. So we must use legal cray nets in the UK. It has a zip opening here so you can get your crayfish out and we have a bait trap. Now that's that type, okay. And as I say, if they start handing out licenses again, your cray traps should all have a license on them. Then you've got this type, which you might see around, which is a solid plastic type of cray, cray net, which basically opens up in the center. It comes with a bait trap inside. So you can put your bait in there. And again, the openings, there's no way an otter's gonna get in there. And then you just tie it off at the top and that keeps it together, job done. Now when it comes to bait, normally I like to use some fish, so I might go to, uh, say the fish stall in Morrison's or any other type of fishmongers that might give you fish heads and things like that. And I've always found that that's been pretty good with the crayfish. I haven't had time to do that this time so a friend of mine who also does crayfishing recommended using these foil cat food pouches because crayfish do tend to like a bit of cat food. Uh, don't peel the tops off, just make some cuts in it, just open it up a little bit and don't go for the pate, go for the ones that have got chunks in gravy because you want to keep those chunks in there to give the crayfish something to nibble on and I was having a look around in the freezer and I've got an old turkey neck as well so I'm going to divide that up and chuck that in there and I think that's going to hopefully entice the crayfish and I'm putting these in overnight and we shall see we shall see how many crayfish we get tomorrow because that's the gamble okay I've never fished this stretch before as I say it's private land where I normally fish I would guarantee overnight all three of these will be packed with crayfish so I am hoping that we're going to have success otherwise it's going to be a, quite a small crayfish or crawfish broil tomorrow but anyway I'm going to get the traps prepped up get the bait in there and then we'll come back when we're down by the river's edge okay
So here we are next to the river where I'm going to put my first net in. little tip for you, with these uh, particular traps that are made out of netting, after you've used them a couple of times, check because they can get holes in them because the crayfish have got very sharp claws. Also, double check that you've done the zip up. Okay, I know it sounds silly, but I have put one in before accidentally in my hurry forgetting to do the zip up only to find that in the morning I fed the crayfish and haven't caught any because they've all gone. Okay, so do make sure that your zip's in, your bait's in, everything is ready to go. So let's get it into the river. So once you've thrown your net into the river you want to tie it off. The way I do it is I find a sturdy branch, take my rope around the branch, take a little bite in the rope, wrap the loose end round and come behind, make another little bite, put it through the first one and let it pull up and then you have a slip, slip knot that will go up and that's a quick release, okay, so when I pull this the whole thing will come off no problem at all. So I'll do that one more time. I'm going to take the rope around, take a bite, wrap it round once, come behind, make another bite, stick it through the first, okay, pull that up, and then you have a slip knot which will lock it off. Now if you want that little extra protection, you can stick a stick into the loop and pull that loop through and that will hold it, that's not going to go anywhere, that's good to go, so you're not going to lose your net. Now as you can see I've chosen a little bit of the river bank where the willow roots are visible and they are an amazing red colour, hopefully that's coming out on the film, because your crayfish love to burrow into and live in the bank of the river and they come out at night, so this is a good place, so I've got my fingers crossed this is going to be a good place to catch cray. Okay, so I've put three traps in. We're losing the light now, so I mean, some of this footage I've been taking might be a little bit uh, dull, I don't know, until I get back and uh, download it. But hopefully you've been seeing where I've been putting the nets. Uh, it's kind of slow moving river, which is good. Uh, it's got nice muddy banks. There's plenty of sign that there's crayfish in here. I found uh, crayfish shells that have been left over from other animals eating them on the actual bank so that's you know a good sign what more can I do we're just going to wait till morning now and see if we get a bountiful catch or not thank you for watching please like and share this video and subscribe to the east beds bushcraft channel see you all again soon